The LPC theory, the path goal theory, and Vroom's decision tree approach together redirect the study of leadership. Not surprising then, other situational theories have been developed. Moreover, there continues to be changes and refinements to the original situational models. Let's take a look at the leader-member exchange model. The leader-member exchange model, or LMX, of leadership stresses the importance of variable relationships between supervisors and each of their subordinates. Each supervisor-subordinate pair is referred to as a vertical dyad. The model differs from earlier approaches in that it focuses on the different relationships leaders often establish between subordinates. This figure shows the basic concepts of the leader-member exchange theory. The model suggests that supervisors establish a special relationship with a small number of trusted subordinates referred to as the in-group. The in-group often receives special duties requiring more responsibility and autonomy. They also receive special privilege, such as more discretion about work schedules. Members of the in-group are also likely to be privy to sensitive information and are likely in the know about upcoming events before others. They may also receive more rewards and generally stronger support from the leader. Subordinates who are not part of this group are called out-group because they receive less of the supervisor's time and attention. Members of the out-group are likely to be assigned the more mundane tasks of the group, and they might not be in the loop insofar as information that's being shared. They may also receive fewer rewards and overall weaker support from the leader. Note that the figure of the leader has a dyadic, a one-to-one -one relationship with each of the five subordinates. Early in his or her interaction with given subordinates, the supervisor initiates either an in-group or out-of-group relationship. It's not clear how the leader selects members of the in-group, but the decision may be based on personal compatibility and the subordinate's competence. Research has confirmed the existence of in-groups and out-groups. In addition, studies generally have found that in-group members tend to have higher levels of performance and satisfaction than out-group members.